Sign here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about Christians and trends, traditions, habits. If the things that we copy, we do mindlessly, the trends that we follow don't have a foundation in the Bible, but have a connection, an origin, a foundation, an explanation in history, in rituals, in witchcraft, in other religions and other beliefs, should we as Christians still do these things? That's a question that I ask myself a lot. Because if it has no foundation in the Bible, we can understand that it only crept into our daily lives slowly with time, right? A lot of practices that used to be unacceptable back in the days became normal practices. Like things that was, were considered bad, really bad, are now considered okay, good. So as time went by, these things infiltrated our cultures, our traditions, religious habits, Christianity, and some things that we even do and we don't even know if it's coming from the Bible or not. So that leads me to question, should Christians be following trends? Fashion trends, social media trends, any kind of trends? Cultural trends, traditional trends. Romans 12, 2 says, Do not conform any longer to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Job 32, 8 says, But it is the spirit in a man, the breath of the Almighty, that gives anyone understanding. It is not only the old who are wise, not only the aged who understand what is right. The Holy Spirit can tell you the things that are wrong. If it doesn't sit right with your spirit, you will know and you will feel it. And if you don't, know it go in the bible and check i just want to encourage us that a lot of things that we do let's pause take a moment and question why we do it the origin who started it who created it and how relevant it is for our walk with christ for our salvation or for after life how relevant is that how important is it for the kingdom of God. How does it impact the kingdom of God? Negatively or positively? And the answer to that will help us walk in righteousness and walk in the will of God without doing things that sometimes may be rituals, may be witchcraft. We don't know. We do a lot of things because we were born into them. But I would encourage us to question every single thing that we do. Even if those things feel good, the more they feel good, the more you should question them. Like, why do we do these things? Where is it coming from? How does that impact the kingdom of God? Is it positive impact or negative impact? Why should I contribute to this? Am I helping the kingdom or am I helping the kingdom of Satan? Kingdom of God or kingdom of Satan? Because there's only two. Now, my question for you is, what trends, traditions are you perpetrating that you don't know the origin of, that you have not questioned, that the Holy Spirit might sometimes nudge you to consider questioning? Are, they, are there trends that you think should be practiced by Christians? Or are there some that you think that should stop? Tell me trends that we do as Christians that have no foundation in the Bible. Leave comments below. That's all I wanted to share. I hope you're blessed and I'll see you next time. Until then, take care.